In today's video, we're going to walk through how to enter a referral in Focus. First thing you need to know is how to get there. There's a couple different ways you can do it. The first is to go to Discipline and click Add Referral. That'll take you to the search screen where you can search for your student. In the search screen, if the student isn't in the current section selected up in the upper right, you can search all sections. If they're not one of your students at all, you can search the entire school. The faster way to get there if you're working on a class you're currently in session, from the gradebook you can just click the blue icon and click Add Referral. On the referral screen, there are four required fields and a few optional ones. Uh, required ones are highlighted in red and they have the little red asterisk so you have to put in a time frame, location, there's a bunch of options, context, was it during school or not. Possible motivation is optional. They do include options like don't know so you can feel free to put one or not. If you've taken previous actions with the student that you'd like them to be aware of you can fill that in here. There's a drop down menu with several options and you can leave comments you can enter multiple entries here as well. There's also a checkbox for you requesting a conference with the administrator and the student. The last required field is a description of the incident. Make sure to describe what happened, including any explicit language used by the student. This will not be visible to any parents or students. You'll notice the save button is grayed out. Until I click out of this box, it's going to stay that way because I still have one required field not filled out. As soon as I click outside, it turns red. Make sure you don't click this button until you're completely ready to submit because you will not be able to make changes once you hit it. If I want to view the referral, I can do that from the screen or if another student was involved in the incident and I need to report it, I can enter another referral. On the referral screen, I can see that it hasn't been reviewed by an administrator yet, so it's still open and has not been closed. If your administrator needs more information, they might return the referral to you, in which case you'll get a notification on your portal. Just click that, and you'll see under the Process tab it's been returned. That means you need to do something. Now you can open it up and it is editable again. You'll see their comment right after the red. They're asking, was this action disruptive? So you can scroll down and add more information. Again, click outside of the box and you'll see the save button light up and you can click it to save your changes. Once again, once you click that, you can't go back and make any more edits. Once the administrator has finished processing the referral, you will get an alert on your portal. You can click it to take you to the screen. From there, you can either scroll, scroll through to see the results, or you can click on the student to bring up the referral. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see the action record where you can see what action was taken by the administrator. The last thing I recommend doing is going back and dismissing the notification so that the alert will go away. If you ever need to look at the referral again, you can click Discipline, Referrals, Search, and that will bring up a list of every referral you've entered that year. If you have any other questions about entering referrals, don't hesitate to reach out to your technology integrator.